once again I find myself with dwindling time because the sun is going down of course you can already see what this is this is the Romanian M74 uh, in fact actually it's a full kit essentially I'm not sure if there's anything else that would go in it uh, this didn't come from Ro CBRN even though it would have been a delight to do business with him we were just talking today about my PureView kit uh, this actually comes through Nick from Seaman very unfortunate Belgian name to have if you speak English uh, S-I-E M-E-N it's going to be quite a powerful name, actually. Anyway, whether or not... I can't remember if this is a licensed clone, if I remember correctly. It was. Um, because I don't see any reason why Romania would steal it. I'm going to talk about the kit before I talk about the face piece. Now, this is actually the military variant of the bag. Uh, this, because it has this buckle system. As opposed to the civilian version, which is essentially something quite similar to this. It's a... Uh, two sort of eight-shaped clips that you pop into each other. It's, like one of those magical, can you get this puzzle unstuck type of things. Um, some print here on the bag that I really can't read. In red ink. Uh, almost leather style canvas bag. Uh, it's or rather fabric on the inside and coat on the outside. No holes in the bottom. ID tag in there, similar to how Romanian camouflage jackets, some of them have uh, ID cards on the sleeves. This one actually has number one on it. That's a size indication, this is size one large. And there's another strap there. Let's work around, here's your adjustable big green canvas strap. How long have I been talking, folks? I've not got a lot of recording time left. Lovely. I made the rookie mistake of moving my... Uh, uh, camera tripod over the power button, so I accidentally turned off the fucking camera. Uh, anyway, so inside the bag we've got a manual here, Instructiuni. 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 Which actually refers to the mask as the OM Model 47. No one ever calls it that. Uh, it's just all of this stuff. It's nothing particularly interesting apart from this really wonderful illustration that I find. I love it. So that goes in the little pocket at the front here. At least just for me, anyway. This is the shape holder that would go inside the oral nasal cup cone. It's made out of polystyrene, and whenever I use it, I get shitloads of polystyrene nugs in my mask, so I don't use it anymore. And inside here is your filter. I don't know about the safety of this, I presume it is safe, but I'm still not going to use it because it's on. It's just stupidly heavy. There's no reason for it to be. It's dated 1989, the CF4. Oh, hang on, that's lot 77-7-89. I presume that's still 1989 anyway. This is actually still completely sealed, so I'm not going to fuddle with it anyway. Uh, for me, I put the filter in the left. There's actually a washer down there, I just noticed. And there's a little side pocket here, and there's nothing in it. Oh! It's a little wraparound, I'm guessing, for your filter, if it has the mask attached. At the moment, I put that down there. And I'm going to pull the mask off, the head, because this is a later variant which has quick-release straps. Which is rather wonderful. Uh, this is a much stickier and floppier version of, of course, the M65 style. Compare that to This thing isn't going anywhere, especially not the M62, but this. I've never seen such unfirmness in the mask. It's a good design, but like, it makes it quite uncomfortable to wear, and I put it like that so the, uh, all the mouth parts go in slotted like that. So, neck strap, which is textured, rather rough texture, don't know if you can see that. There you go, you got it for a second. It comes along there, and like I say, quick release straps. The black and green uh, appearance really does make it like the uh, M60 M40 crossover for me. That's what I re it reminds me of. Here's your uh, cap cover cap right there. Do I keep pointed around? Uh, 40 millimeter Stanag, so it takes NATO. Now if I pop this over over the front, also there's some stamping on the back of this. Once again, it doesn't want to focus for more than a second. So I pull this over, 
and we can see some stamping there, 24-2, and here is the inside. There is some oranging happening around the lenses for mine, which is kind of a shame. There's your chin rest, which often goes under the oral nasal cup for me by accident. Uh, oral nasal cup again floppy. This slots into here, I believe. Inside valves, more stamping that I can't read in this light. You can see here the date stamp, 1989, uh, with the letter A on the forehead, which I've only just spotted now, and a uh, good peripheral seal. And so, like I say, this is, for all intents and purposes, a copy of the M65. We've got one here, of course, now featuring a six point head harness as opposed to five, and an actually competent head harness system. However, on the whole, I still prefer wearing an M65 to this. Which is a shame because this looks very smart. This is like a formal M65 compared to the M65Z as well. I still stand by that opinion. It's a very lovely mask. I'm very glad to have it. Size 1 large. Some people believe, especially on eBay UK at the moment, if you type in M74 or Romanian gas mask, they are still selling uh, size 1 kits as small. And they ran out of all of the sizes. So uh, you've heard it from me. Size 1 is the large. In fact, I shouldn't have to tell you because uh, also... Row CBRN, uh, the lord of Romanian military are collecting in terms of CBRN equipment, or even just gas mask in general, uh, has noted it before. So yeah, I just wanted to do that quick lovely thing. Uh, I'm very fond of this mask, so a big thank you to Seaman and to Nick, who sent it my way. I'm very fond of it, and I'm not getting rid of it. It's uh, more of a personal favourite of mine. So it'll be going with me everywhere, much like the M65 style, which I do love as well. So, it's very nice. <laughs>